TikTok has become the top source of viral content on the internet. You can find everything from recipes, hot guys, and vacation clips. And nothing says a vacation like a cruise on Virgin Voyages. Virgin has been an iconic supporter of the LGBTQ plus community, and now Virgin Voyages brings that to an entire new level. As your number one choice, of an LGBTQ plus vacation experience. Value is the word, a value that includes being an adult only cruise, Wi-Fi, all food from 20 plus eateries, tips, group workouts, and even essential drinks, all included. That's value. And their values are also self-evident as Virgin Voyages fights for equality and the right to be seen, heard, and included. And this is why Virgin Voyages is part of our best TikTok of the week. So each week we are going to show you our favorite TikTok video, our best TikTok of the week, how men went from butch to femme, from Esme Luisa. Men go from this to this. Hi, let's discuss the history of the masculine aesthetic starting with a rephrasing. It isn't a case of how we went from macho men to skirts and heels, it's a case of how we returned there. Long before they were associated with our dainty, delicate femininity, heels, skirts, wigs, makeup, were all associated with being masculine. In ancient Egypt, men would use dramatic eyeliner designs to demonstrate their status and wealth, while in ancient Rome, men would use blush, nail polish, and even lipstick to communicate their status. King Louis XIII pioneered wig wearing to hide the fact that he was balding. High heels originated from 15th century Persian soldiers to help secure their feet in syrups. They were then popularized in 17th century French courts, so these men could demonstrate their higher aristocratic status. Skirts have been widely worn by men from prehistoric times and well into the French Revolution. It was considered just another item of clothing. Skirts and tunics had the time and place, just like pants or your bathing suits. Our conceptions of masculinity have drastically changed in recent history. As the industrial era came around and we changed what it meant to be a man in in the modern world. Which brings me to my second point. This image that you're venerating is from World War II. And if you think that those who fought, not just men, did so purely out of a sense of adventure and excitement, then I implore you to pick up a better history book. So many people today are still suffering from the trauma that was inflicted by this war. And conceptions of masculinity have suffered exceptionally. So perhaps it's time to be more concerned about how modern conceptions of masculinity are leading to spikes in suicide rates, depression, and violence, and less concerned that we're starting to wear skirts again. Yo, masculinity, what do we think? <laughs> You'll finally take a... <laughs> First of all, you. That's that's bro, like, what was that? that sound, right? I feel so <laughs> dirty right now. I, what just happened? I feel violated. Like, I don't know about y'all, but like, like my dad took off his shirt for the first time. <laughs> oh, Ew. Oh, don't oh. put that image no. in my mind. We're back oh. to the Hellman's again. That was that was all Hellman's. No crap. All Hellman's. Listen, y'all finally picked the Gen Z approved TikTok. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. A, because it's actually from this week. And oh B, God. because I actually love her. Oh. Um, if y'all haven't seen her kinky history videos, oh my God. Oh, I love. Oh. oh, I love her so much. It's it's like it's to die for. Could truly. Somebody translate what he said. <laughs> I, I didn't understand a okay. single word. What he, what he said was, "She good, you bad." <laughs> that's now, basically that's what he clear. said. Wow, you said that. <laughs> But, but no, she better educate. I think all, all of that was so interesting and so real and so makes you really wonder when people try to tell us what is wrong with who we are and what we are, however they celebrate and they, they hold up these parts of history and no one wants to realize Take the mirror, sh shall we, you know, realize. Just have fun with our TikToks Can't we? And just be done with it. And that was awesome. No, but that was education That was too. educational. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And whenever you're here from a British person, it automatically has more yeah. authority. You're like, yeah. okay, well, this that is... Was, it's got to be true. Okay, right? that was yeah. definitely Australian, uh, but I'll let it slide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a very American thing to do. the same crowd. It's the same thing. They're 9,000 miles apart. They're prisoners from Britain. It's close enough. Uh -huh. We are we are off to a great start. I love this. <laughs> All right.
LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.